Hello and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to look after the headlights. Uh, you might have noticed on a previous video while I was uh, replacing the bulbs on the rear lights um, that every time I turn on the, the lights the dip beam didn't work on this side uh, but this one here was absolutely fine and um, in order to make it work I have to knock it quite a few times and actually smash in order for it uh, for the lights to come up um, it could be some sort of a loose connection or anything like that but I really doubt it uh, because uh, no, normally with a loose connection uh, the light would flicker and uh, uh, when there was a lot of movement or anything like that so I think it's something really wrong with the actual bulb itself it could be just really old and um, I'm going to go through all the steps of replacing that one and that one as well because if one is faulty it will soon thereafter the other one would go as well so I will replace both of them as a pair but first I'm going to look into this one and it is actually quite a simple process what you need is just basically a number 30 Torx screw to undo this screw in here and then just a, like a long screwdriver or a, like a, just a rod in order to push down these tabs. There's one in here, over there, that you just push down, and there's another one in here, somewhere around here. It is a little bit difficult to see because it is quite dark, but that you push down uh, after you undo uh, this one. So yeah, let's just do it now. You can use a flat screw as well, like this one in here. So if you don't have a, a Torx screw, then just push this tab here. It's very easy. There you go. And this one I already had pulled it. Okay, and it slides off. It's actually a very easy process. And then you see here the connections. And then you just pull that one over there. And there you go. It is. So this would be the dipped beam. There's a tab in here, but the look of it, yeah, you just pull it down. out and always remove the bulb like that never touch the glass now I'm going to look into more detail into the bulb that I'm going to replace and as you can see in here there is some sort of a corrosion on it on the filament itself so this could be the reason why it is actually not working so now let's just grab a uh, bulb in better condition a new one and there you go this is the new bulb the one on my right hand side and this is the old bulb on the left hand side and you can see the difference in both of them one is shiny and new the coil of the filament and this one is gone now let's just go and replace it again never touch the glass always keep your fingers away from the glass and then just install it where the orientation is like that where it slots in place 
like so. And then install it where you have the clip at the bottom. Fine. Now, these bulbs um, are H7, this one here, and it is basically the main bulb. Let that just go. Don't forget to put this back in. It's actually very easy to slide. It's one of the easiest jobs that I've had to do. In, uh, in in many compared to many other cars. There you go. They're all in place, so you could see that it's all clamped in. Put the ball, actually the bolt, back in, and the job is done. And of course, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well. Well, this one seems to be actually in good condition and it looks like so this is the old one this is an Osram bulb and this is a Lucas bulb so it looks like that this one is been there for quite a long time and this one was replaced uh, not long ago but just for the uh, sake of uh, consistency I'm going to replace both bulbs at the same time and just keep the good one just for the future just in case make sure what the where the orientation goes like so I did slightly differently on the other one, but it doesn't matter really, as long as it goes in the right place, that's the most important. Okay, it's not fixed in place. It looks like the um, tab on the other one isn't in very good condition. So and always make sure that these are nice and sealed in place because you don't want any water ingress and there you go job's a good one slot it like that there's a bit of a slot in here as you can see so you just basically put it like that, sometimes I forget this, put it like that don't forget the connection and like that and then slot it in, slide it in place make sure there's a couple of guides in here and it's all in place and of course never forget to put the bolt or the screw back in place compared to many other cars it's actually much easier to do and this one here well it's just simply just going to the bin this is the old one that was on the driver's side bolt 